Alexis Smith, The American Way, is the first retrospective of the California artist in 30 years. Smith's collage combine found text, images, and objects to underscore and exaggerate how we are shaped by the media and culture that surround us. I was very fortunate to have Alex as a mentor. With her signature sense of humor, Smith turns a keen eye to literature, movies, and pop culture to scrutinize the myth of the American dream. Themes of self-invention and reinvention are the center of many of these narratives, whether they concern questions of identity and the roles of women in U.S. society or criticisms of the pretenses of wealth and class. Smith embraced double entendres in her wall painting of Marilyn Monroe, wearing giant sunglasses that are actually framed collages that reflect football players, a varsity letter on the left, and a vision exam chart on the right. Situated alongside movements of conceptual and pop art and shaped by the feminist movements of the 70s, Smith's extensive work in collage provokes critical thought about the reality of American culture. I worked for the artist for more than 10 years during a period where her modest-sized collage were exploding in scale as they were being incorporated with graphic wall images. I laid this out with string vanishing points and then painted the graphic. The windows of the train were aluminum framed silkscreen silhouettes of the passengers. This exhibit is called USA at the Holly Solomon Gallery in New York City in 1981. This was my first time traveling with the artist. In fact, it was my first trip to New York City and it was both inspiring and disorienting. I projected the images of the ocean liner and helped paint the graphic, constructed the telephone pole stringing thread to a vanishing point. My mind was sort of blown when Philip Glass stopped by to take a look while we were working. A couple days later, Richard Serra made an appearance. On the right, Stardust, a classic Smith collage from this period. Buttons, two glitter stars and a prize ribbon. The quote is, I'm going to be a great star someday, she announced as though daring him to contradict her. I am sure you, it's my life. It's the only thing in the world that I want. Robert Irwin, a founder of the Light and Space movement, recalled, most students think they are going to learn to manipulate an existing medium. They don't realize that if they have an interesting sensibility, they're going to have to invent a medium. For Smith, that medium began after college as hand-typed text combined with photos or symbols that were presented as manuscripts to be read. I walked into the studio and saw the components of this assemb assemblage neatly arranged. It was my job to make things permanent with hardware, the right type of glue, etc. The quote on this is, silk screened on the paint by numbers painting, a faint mist, a rusty sprinkler centered over a thrift store paint by numbers seascape. The wood frame was covered in vintage fiberglass webbing for a lawn chair. Text was silk screened directly onto the surface of the painting. And at the top, this is the Museum of Contemporary Art in San Diego, actually in La Jolla, and it's been newly rebuilt. The size of the galleries has been quadrupled, and it's in this beautiful coastal location. This is the first thing you see at the retrospective, and it's an iconic work for Smith. Men seldom make passes at girls who wear glasses. Alexis Smith, 1985. The work takes its title from 20th, 20th century writer Dorothy Parker's famous two-line poem and includes a large portrait of Marilyn Monroe painted directly onto a wall wearing collaged sunglasses. 
In fact, the sunglasses are retro trapezoidal wood frames with images of football players. This was another really interesting trip to the studio. Typical day working with Alex, always full of surprises. She was laying out this piece using the back of a vintage TV set and a vintage shampoo bottle with a background of glitter. It was my job to attach, assemble, etc. Having a mentor is an essential element in learning the process of making art. And from the exhibit, Jane focused on famous women with the name with that name. The piece is inspired by the life of Jane Mansfield. The quote on this is the rest of the day went by like a motion picture running wild, sometimes too fast and again too slow. There was a traffic jam inside my skull, horns blowing, brakes squeaking, head-on collision. A steel panel automotive sign with a low-relief plaque with a mother-of-pearl button for an earring, gold and green leatherette a postered frame. Cover of the catalog for the Alexis Smith 1992 retrospective at Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art. I helped install this piece or this show. Various collage works, photos of the new museum, and an installation using her collection of vintage child-sized chairs on the lower right. I spent a summer in Grand Rapids helping to manage a large installation in the foyer of a theater. Alex spent more than a year creating this huge project. I built the painted wood elements at the top of the high wall during my spring semester at Claremont Graduate University and then took them with me when we met in Grand Rapids to complete this 6,000 square foot installation on three levels of the Keeler Grand Foyer. This snake path is at UC San Diego in La Jolla. It's a meandering 560 foot long walkway flowing up to the futuristic library. The individual scales of the path are hexagonal pieces of colored slate. Along the way, the serpent's slightly crowned body circles around a small Garden of Eden with several fruit trees, including an apple, a fig, and a pomegranate. The path then passes a monumental granite book carved with a quote from Milton's Paradise Lost. And wilt thou not be loath to leave this paradise, but shalt possess a paradise within thee happier far. It took the magic of two Hollywood scene painters to blow up Alexis Smith's sketch of an orange crate label to mural size. Some old, same old paradise, 1987, is a monumental work monumental like studio films of the iconic valley 22 feet high 62 feet wide bigger than a billboard originally created for the brooklyn museum the artist donated this work to uc san diego though it took them years to find a space large enough to show it Lucky me to have had this chance to learn and experience so much in assisting Alexis Smith over the course of a decade. Truly a remarkable mentor, teacher, and friend.